Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about linkage and recombination. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So Morgan carried out several crosses in Drosophila to study linkage and recombination. So actually, this is the cross. Yeah. So this is the cross made by Morgan. He took some female flies who had yellow body and white eye. Both the genes are placed in X chromosome. And these two genes are actually mutant genes. Yellow bodied gene is represented by Y and white eyed gene is represented by W. And he took some male flies who had brown body and red eyes. These genes are actually the wild type or dominant counterpart of yellow and white genes. Hence we call them wild type. Since males contain one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, they have only one copy of each gene. Y chromosome doesn't carry any of these genes. And he crossed them. So females generate only one type of gamete. Whereas males generate two types of gametes. One with X chromosome. One with Y chromosome. When these male and female gametes unite. We get two types of progeny in F1 generation. 50% progeny are wild type females and 50% progeny are mutant males who have yellow body and white eye. So females have at least one copy of dominant allele of each gene like Y plus and W plus. Hence they show wild type phenotype. Then he intercrossed these F1 progeny. Okay. Here two events can occur. Recombination may or may not occur between two genes during gamete formation or you can say during meiosis. First let's check if recombination doesn't occur, no recombination. So here are two types of female gametes and here we have two types of male gametes. So these gametes are coming from these F1 flies, right? Now, if male and female gametes combine four types of progeny, we will get in F2 generation. 50% of them are female. Among them, half of the flies have yellow body, white eyes. And half are wild types. 50% of F2 generation are male. Just like females, half of them have yellow body, white eyes and half of them are wild type. Since these F2 flies are phenotypically same as their parents, they are called as parental type. Now let's talk if recombination occurs. If recombination occurs between two genes, we get different types of female gametes. One gamete contains Y allele, 
along with W plus instead of W. And the other gamut contains Y plus allele along with W instead of W plus. So recombination happened here between Y and W genes and we got these two types of female gametes. But male gametes will not show any such recombination since males contain only one X chromosome. So recombination doesn't occur here. Now if male and female gametes combine four types of progeny we will get in F2 generation. 50% of them are female. Among them half of the flies have yellow body red eye and others have brown body white eye. And 50% of F2 generation are male. Just like females half of them have yellow body red eye and others have brown body white eye. Since these flies of F2 generation show new combinations of alleles other than the parental combination they are called as recombinants. But crossing over event is not very frequent. Hence Morgan noticed that only 1.3% F2 flies were recombinants. Rest 98.7% flies are parental type. Okay. Now let's check the text. So Morgan crossed yellow bodied white eyed females to brown bodied red eyed males and intercrossed their F1 progeny. So these genes were located on X chromosome. And he observed that two genes did not segregate independently of each other and the F2 ratio deviated from the typical Mendelian ratio that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So yeah, when we found only parental type flies, no recombinants in F2 generation, the phenotypic ratio was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This is called Mendelian ratio, right? But this was not found when crossing over occurred. That means both parental and recombinant flies were there. That time this was not the case. They showed different phenotypic ratio. Actually Mendel didn't include linkage and recombination in his theory, right? So it was observed that when the two genes were situated on the same chromosome, the proportion of parental gene combinations were much higher. That is 98.7% than the non-parental or recombinant type that is 1.3% only. Morgan coined the term linkage to describe this physical associations of genes on a chromosome and the term recombination to describe the generation of non-parental gene combinations. So Morgan also found that even when genes were grouped on the same chromosome, some genes were very tightly linked. Very tightly linked genes always will show less recombination. Why? Because between those genes crossing over is very less. Why? Others were loosely linked and they showed higher recombination since crossing over was higher when genes are placed far away. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please check the description box or first pinned comment. Thank you.